It's a new day and abundance is here. My name is Bisola Miriam and today we are talking about neglect. Neglect. We're still in the childhood trauma and narcissistic abuse series and I'm looking, I'm going to talk to you today about neglect. So what is neglect? To neglect, we in Nigeria or in African, in Nigerian parlance or accent, we say neglect. Whether it's neglect or neglect, what exactly does it mean to neglect someone or to experience or suffer childhood neglect or neglect at any point in life? Neglect basically can be physical and it can be emotional. Physical in the sense that you're, you're not paid attention to. So for instance, you're not given three meals in a day. You're not where um you know you are not given good clothes to wear you are not given the things that you need to be well raised to to be well nurtured when you lack nurturing when you lack the basic needs of uh, of of a child or the basic things that every child needs to develop you are suffering from or perhaps you experienced this in the past that means that you suffered neglect at a time in your life and neglect can come can be deliberate can sometimes it's not even deliberate so deliberate neglect happens when your caregiver whether your father or your mother or someone who takes that caregiver role who is supposed to take the take that caregiver role in your life is not available so for instance physical neglect can be oh your parent travel maybe your parent so let me make this even more specific i experienced neglect as a child so my mother sometimes would travel for days and um, it would just be me and my siblings at home and sometimes even when she is not traveled she didn't travel she might be at home with us and she's not present. I mean, she might be with you in the living room. You, you know, you don't feel her presence. She might be at home. She might not even be attentive enough to know what we need, what we're struggling with. You, she wasn't even there physically. So we didn't have our physical presence most of the times, most of the time when we needed it. Another thing that I also would like to say is, I, um, when it comes to my relationship with my primary caregiver as a child, which was my mother, I remember that sometimes she would be away for days. She might not be away for days, but when she comes back, she comes back very late. Maybe at the time when we are sleeping or we're about to go to bed. I mean, we didn't have that bonding. Like that was missing. It was absent. We didn't have that, you know physical presence and so in a way that affected my growing up or for me i can speak for myself it affected my childhood so much more that i must say that there were things that i wished i could talk to my mother about that i never got the chance to talk to her about okay so i experienced you know neglects as a child or in that way now, emotional neglect is some um, is something that people also experience, and um, the thing about emotional ne ne neglect is that people really do we trivialize this even more than we you know more than physical neglect, just like we trivialize emotional abuse more than you know we we don't give attention to emotional neglect, just as we do not give attention to emotional abuse emotional neglect can happen when a parent or a primary caregiver minimizes your feelings or would not let you talk about what you're feeling or would not think would think that your opinion or your feelings does not matter and if you have experienced this as a child you would normalize this pattern so much more that if you end up in a dating relationship or in a friendship or a work relationship when you begin to have people minimize your feelings you then shut down or 
you don't think it is a problem because it's a pattern from your childhood and that's why we're talking about childhood trauma and how these traumas have a way of just keeping us stuck and living in our past even while we're in our present and so understand that emotional neglect can happen to anyone and it happens when people minimize your feelings and emotions or when people do not let you speak or express your feelings and emotions maybe you i remember i remember talking to my mother later in life about how you know a stepbrother sexually abused me i remember that she didn't think it was so much of a big deal guess what she told me then she didn't even say anything she said yet a lot or she said it's gone it's in the past and i also remember how some several months ago when my stepfather passed on and then she then told me that oh some um, uh, this stepbrother that i told her about was sexually abusing me was you know getting married or then got one big car then has some money and i remember how she was just going on and on about how the guy the stepbrother of mine who i told her was you know was a predator from my past she was just going on and on about how this person has now become successful now and she was also planning to attend a party an event that this stepbrother of mine was organizing now why am i sharing this i'm sharing this because this was something that this was just a clear case of emotional neg neglect she minimized what i experienced as a child she didn't think it was so much of a big deal so much more that she even relates and interacts with someone that caused me that kind of trauma now that are uh, relating with this person is not even the problem but the fact that she does not even care about it it doesn't even bother her it's what is even more traumatizing even now as i talk about it and so you might be listening to me and perhaps this is a similar this is something that you can connect with or this is something that has happened in your past that you can cannot connect with from your past one thing you need to understand is no one can give you a lot of times you will need to fight for yourself you need to speak for yourself and you may be the one that will give justice to you because the court might minimize your experience, the family, your family might minimize your experiences, the society might minimize it, social media might minimize it, but do not ever, ever, I repeat, do not ever minimize your experiences. And if this series, this episode has been useful, why don't you leave comments? Let's help each other. Answer the question, have you ever experienced neglect? What did it feel like? Is this something you're still going through right now? What are you doing as a coping strategy? Let's talk. Let's talk in the comment section. Meanwhile, I want you to support me. I need your help. I need your help because I am looking to get donations to promote, to publish my book and make copies available to people across africa and the rest of the world for free even more we intend to translate this book into as many languages and to also put this book into audio formats in different languages we also hope to have sensitization radio and tv programs across different parts of africa and the rest of the world where we're simply having conversations about these issues that i have addressed in my book and there is no way i can achieve all of this without your support without your donations and so i am inviting you to support me on this project to donate to donate to donate to give so that i can publish this book and make several copies available to people who need clarity who need healing and who need to move from their toxic past or their toxic present and to also get the, the to to just get the clarity that i now have from reading my book and i want you to be that person that support us in this great course simply go to bisolamiriam.com forward slash becoming bm 
bisolamiriam.com forward slash becoming bm i look forward to having your donations your support i cannot wait because abundance is here there is no lack god bless you and i'll talk soon bye <laughs>